So tell me what this exhibit means to you. Uh, well, you know, it's kind of a culmination of uh, several different styles that I've been working on over the years. And, uh, you know, it just uh, kind of talks about uh, where I've been going with my work and, um, you know, where I want to go with it. And uh, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to, like, really express uh, to everyone, uh, you know, what the work is all about. Right. You know. tell, me, tell me about your art. What attracts you to these ancient symbols? Uh, you know, that's a mystery to me. I, um, I've always been intrigued by history. Uh, it started with the Egyptians when I was younger, and then I moved on to other cultures, Roman, uh, Celtic culture, Aztec. I really became fascinated by the Aztecs. Mm -hmm. And uh, began to incorporate their different iconography into my work, you know. So, and how do you get your inspiration? Do you start with a plan, or um, do you just let it happen? I, I, I kind of both. You know, sometimes I start with a plan. If I'm doing like a big project, like a giant mural, I will start with a plan. Um, I'll talk to people in the community, try to find out a little bit about the history of the of the community I'm working in, and then uh, you know, if I'm doing the columns like I did downstairs then that's completely freeform, you know. So, uh, you know, really the answer is anything is yes. Yeah, any kind of, yeah, so yes to everything. Yeah. So tell me about the adaptability of your art. You just are opening a clothing line? I am, yes. Yeah, I'm uh, just uh, launching Critical Mass. Uh, that's coming out next month. It's a, a line of surfwear and snowboard clothes. And I'm um, working with a gentleman in California, uh, and you know he's going to be launching a website for for the product. And everything, okay. so. Tell me, tell me what um, makes you inspires you about the work. How do you feel when you step back from a canvas and see what you've created? Uh, well, uh, I'm very critical of my own work, you know. So uh, I, you know, there's never like I don't know if I always have that aha moment, you know. Um, sometimes I do, but you know, I'm always looking for something I can do differently or better or ways to improve the work. Uh, and then I look for like different imagery that I can um, use and be influenced by. You know? So, so there's really there's satisfaction and then dissatisfaction. You know, so. you know if, when I look at your work, I can see an element of whimsy. But then when I look at it, sometimes again, I see some. I can interpret very serious elements to it. So where 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 does this fall in uh, your scheme of things? Whimsy versus the yeah, serious. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I think we talked about this uh, the other day. Uh, I, I've been very influenced by the Book of Kells, you know, and I and I found the um, artwork in there to be very whimsical, but other people think it's very serious, you know. So uh, and then like if you look at Hieronymus Bosch's work. I mean, it's obviously very serious, but there's a there is, from our 20, 21st century point of view, it's very whimsy. There's a lot of whimsy in it too. So uh, I, I don't know. I just get that, you know. I guess it's probably from pop culture, you know. So I'm like bringing the elements of pop culture into the primitive, so you get those elements of whimsy and cartoony, and then you see this like serious like primitive cave spiritual-minded work you know, behind it. Right. So, so explain about the spiritual aspect of what you're talking about. Um, How do you yeah, just, interpret your own uh, spirituality in the world? Um, you know, I'm just fascinated that every culture in the world has their own unique form of spirituality, you know, which kind of tells me something about humanity. It's like innate in us to be spiritual beings, whatever, you know, faith we follow. So, uh, you know, that, that's what fascinates me, you know, it both intrigues me and sometimes scares me a little bit, you know, and uh, so it's just one of those things that, um, you know, has become important in my work. I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know, maybe it's from a spiritual place, I don't know. You know? Now, you've, you've done a lot of murals in schools, you're doing sculpture for Turtleback Zoo. Yes, that's tell, right. tell me what you hope to transmit to the younger viewers, to children. What do you uh, hope they relate to in your work? Well, you know, uh, it's really important for me to work with kids, okay? I, I like to work with kids in the inner city. Um, you know, I see a lot of, like, um, you know, obviously, the, the, you know, the inner cities is wrought with problems, and I want to just give them some relief from that, you know, and, and uh, 
So, you know, I just like the fact that art lightens your life, you know, it brightens you up, it gives you hope, it gives you inspiration. Uh, so that's, I just hope to give them inspiration. You know, that's really what it is. Well, thank you. Thanks so much. Great exhibition. All right, thanks.